this week's tip is peace. That's the foundation. It's a five-step process to help you reduce worry, but you can really apply it to stress, to anxiety, to fear, whatever problem is in your life. Let's take a deeper look at how the peace process works. There's five steps. Penetrate your worry, envision a better life, act now, confront your fears, and exercise. So if you take the first step, penetrate the worries, what that means is to dig deep into what's really bothering you. Often what we find happens when we get worried is we have these little tiny worries that are floating on the surface, but they're not the real issue. You need to drill down, to penetrate down, to find out what is at the root of worry. When you find the root of worry, you can begin to resolve your problem, but not until you drill down and penetrate deep down into the root of the worry. Envision your life better than it is today. We know that success Successful, peaceful people envision their lives to have the best possible outcome. They tell themselves positive, affirming stories to create positive expectations. That's what you need to do whenever you're in a chaotic moment and you're experiencing worry, fear, stress. Envision your life better than it is today. Act now. That's the third step. When you act now, you are going to feel better because you are doing something as opposed to sinking into a state of paralysis, which is what can happen when you get so many worries that you begin to fall into perhaps a state of depression. You no longer act. You're not taking action. When you take action, even if it's not the right action, you're able to start making tiny little steps to a better life. And if you find that the action you're taking isn't correct, then take direction from that action and write your path and keep moving forward. Confront your fears. What happens when we begin to take action is we very often find that all these fears just come bubbling to the surface, just like that, bam, they come rising up. And the fear causes you to sort of retreat. It makes you not want to take action. So when you confront the fears, here's what I find really works for me. If I look at all the things in my past that I've survived and I say, I survived those things. I've lived this many years and I can continue to survive anything that comes down the path in the future. Then I find I can confront the fears and keep taking action. The fifth step is exercise, and this is critical. All the other steps are about what you do with your mind. This is what you do with your body. Very important to get the blood flowing, to get new life breathing into you by exercising. Whether you do Pilates, or you ride a bike, or you head down and take a walk, when you exercise, you will invigorate not only your body, but your mind. You'll get what I refer to often as mental trash, mental and emotional garbage. You'll start to flush all that out of your head, and you'll find a new you and a new way of thinking by implementing not only exercise, but all of the five steps in the peace process. Basically, it boils down to this. A mind at peace has no room for worry, but it has plenty of room for treasures. If you like what I'm saying and you'd like to take some of this home with you and pursue it a little bit deeper, you can buy my book, Five Steps to Peace Even in Chaos. We can set a new path and reprogram our brain for more positive outcomes in life. When you do that, success and greater opportunities will come your way. So act now and join me in the pursuit to harmonizing peace.